hello everybody welcome back to my channel in today's video i want to show you guys how i have my irrigation set up for my backyard and this is pretty much uh, the same thing i did in the front yard so last year i actually broke my faucet connection so i i bought a new one so i could fix that so uh, the part that i broke was the uh, water pressure part um which is the middle one um i have the filter and the um black tubing connection right now installed and this is the one um this is the one that i broke which is the one that goes in the middle which controls the pressure of the water so that was a, a thing that i needed <laughs> and the uh the top one is the um the filter and this one right here this is the connection uh that goes on the tubing which is super easy to install as well and i like the rainbow kit because it has everything i need to connect my faucet to my black tubing like i said it's three pieces and it's super easy to install and if you want you guys can also get a timer it is not uh something that you need to have but it's very very helpful because you can just put a timer and you know it turns on and off by itself it's really really good to have as well I bought mine off of Amazon and it was around $22. So not expensive at all. And then the instructions are very easy to read and understand. So I didn't show you guys how I connected the black tubing to the connector, but it's super easy. The uh, connector has a little uh, fitting and you push that you push your pipe into that fitting and then it has a little cap and you twist it and it locks and it's super easy and my four-way uh, faucet connection that i bought last year wasn't working properly anymore so i had to go buy a new one and i i couldn't find one with four connections anymore so i just went ahead and got one with two um and this one was from walmart and it was only five dollars so it's really inexpensive i do like the one with four connections better and make sure you swap your batteries every year as well also make sure that everything is very tight and secure so you don't have any leaks on your system So my timer is an Orbit timer. This is the one that only has one zone. There's another one that has two zones, but I only need one zone as of right now. <laughs> so when you set it up, you're gonna set up your time. So my time was 6 p.m., 6.30 p.m. So I went ahead and set up that time. And I'm using the plus and minus button to, you know, get the time that i want <laughs> super easy super simple this is why i like this timer because it's super simple and on start time you're gonna use uh you're gonna you're gonna add the time that you want your your system to turn on i want mine at 9 30 so that's why i put 9 30 a.m make sure you're checking the a.m and p.m <laughs> So how often is going to be how long your system is going to run for? I want mine to be 25 minutes. How often is going to be every every day or every two days or every three days? I like to do it every every day. And you're going to leave it on auto and you're all set. And, you know, it. that's it. That's all you do. It's super simple. 
I'm going to press the manual button right now just to run my system right now to go and check if I have any leaks or anything that I need to fix. I do have a two things that I need to fix and I didn't have any other leaks. Um, so I'm going to go fix that. And you guys see the pressure is pretty good. It's uh, This is the end, almost the end of my my uh flower bed and i have i still have really good pressure so i'm going to show you guys how i i'm going to fix this and you guys can see i have a lot of drip tube i'm so excited about turning it on because i know plants do so much better with uh irrigation than you know just come out and watering it every day that's what i've been doing since um this the backyard irrigation system wasn't working properly i've been watering and let me tell you it it's a hassle to water even though my garden is a smaller ish garden i have a lot of plants <laughs> so it's kind of difficult you know it takes more than an hour every day to come and water so i'm pretty happy that i'm not gonna have to uh use that time for just watering and here's another another tube that i need to fix and i'll be also showing you showing you guys how we fix this one as well so you're gonna need distribution piping this is the half an inch black uh, with no emitters tubing and this is the one that's running throughout the whole garden to uh distribute the water basically and then you're gonna add connections uh with the um half an inch brown tubing that has the emitters um and there's different kinds of uh the the one that has the brown tubing that has the emitters i have bought one that has has the emitters every 12 inches this one that i have here right now has it every 18 inches inches and there's another one that i saw that had it every six inches as well so it's really gonna be up to you which one you want to buy and you can also buy this one that is smaller this one is perfect for the containers or hanging baskets and that's the one fourth uh, irrigation pipe with the emitters and then if you're gonna buy this one make sure you get that little tool it's a little gun for the fittings and it helps you get the fitting inside the tubing because your fingers will hurt if you do it with your fingers it is doable but i don't like it uh carlos doesn't have doesn't struggle as much as i do without the gun so it's really up to you and they also have t fittings for the smaller uh tubing and then you can also use that it's perfect for baskets as well or when you want to you know connect it in a, into a t and carlos can just you know push it in and he doesn't have a, i mean you guys can see the force that he's making on it but he can get it done pretty fast i i can't i won't i'm i'm not able to pierce through with my with my strength <laughs> so right here is one an example of when you can use a t a t fitting and we added the smaller piping onto this area because this area needs more water than the, all the other areas and it has worked pretty good another thing that you can do for containers is just use one of the smaller piping which this one is the black kind of distribution pipe in the smaller side of the one fourth and carlos is going to show you guys a little bit closer how the little this little gadget works because it's really helpful uh because the smaller tubing is so hard <laughs> see it kind of grabs it and when you uh squeeze it kind of makes it go in and it's super it's so much faster and super easy to do it this way but yeah and like i was saying another thing that you can do for baskets is use use a little uh black tubing and then just add one of the um emitters that come separate that are not installed into the piping um i do that sometimes but not all the time i kind of like using the brown one that already has the emitters in so this is one emitter that comes separate but i do kind of like the one 
in the brown tubing better than the little separate emitters we do have a few things on like this on our garden like hydrangeas and and other other things with the smaller uh, emitters that go right under 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 the plant uh but i usually like Maybe just because I'm a little bit lazy and I like to just, you know, connect the brown tubing onto the distribution pipe and just call it a day. <laughs> Instead of having to, you know, use the fittings and connect the emitters, it just, it takes a little bit longer to do it this way than just to use the brown tubing. And then the way that you connect the um, half an inch tubing is just you're gonna use basically fittings, the same fittings, just in the bigger size. Make sure when you buy your fittings, you are buying the right size as well. So, and then you're just gonna push it, push it into the tubing, and that's it. That's all you do. And you're gonna cut, and you're gonna use T's whenever you feel like you need to use them, um, and just you know push it, push it. And that's it i do i will suggest to do stuff in like a grid system or uh, you know always connect your brown tubing back to your distribution pipe that way you're gonna have better flow of the water and better pressure on your emitters so right here we decided that we were gonna use the smaller uh brown tubing the one fourth um tubing just because we want this area to be very well watered because it is sedum and begonias and they they like more water and this is right here this is a stopper and it, it looks like a figure eight and you basically just bend your tubing and you push it up and that's how it stops that's the stopper <laughs> And Carlos is now just adding the um, the fitting into the tubing. And this is how you're going to add the smaller fittings into the bigger uh, pipe. You just, you just pierce it through and that's it. And now he's going to add the little brown tubing into this fitting. And um, I also saw in Amazon that they sell a little tool that also makes the holes for you. So you can also buy that to make it easier on your hands. Uh, but yeah, like he makes it look so easy and so fast as well. So, But yeah, I really like this tool uh, whenever I do it by myself. And now we're just going to go around the flower bed. And that's pretty much it for this one. We're just going to connect it back the same way. And that's it. And we're using garden staples because the um, with the pressure of the water, it can, the tubing kind of vibrates and um, it kind of moves around. So it's better to use some garden staples so, you know, it stays put where you put it. And we decided to use a T instead on this so you guys could see how, how to do it. But it's pretty easy as well. You just push it into the fitting until it's all the way up and then that's it that's how you connect it i would say it's better to connect it right to the distribution pipe because that way you'll have better better uh pressure onto your uh emitters but we just wanted to show you guys how to do a t and it's pretty easy it's pretty pretty simple And I went and turned it on to just make sure that it had enough pressure and it does. Like I said, my garden is small. So if you have a bigger garden, you might want to grab one of the um, one of the timers that have two zones. That way you can just have less emitters onto just one zone. That way you have better pressure on your garden, on the on the irrigation system.
and now we're moving into a different flower bed and this one we're adding the half an inch tubing with the T. so it's pretty easy as well you just you know push the the tubing into the fitting you cut your distribution pipe and you push it into the fitting and that's how you do a t with the bigger ones it's super easy like i said you might need a little bit of strength that's why i usually have carlos do it for me uh, i can go ahead and do it by myself as well this one the bigger pipe is not as hard to do as the little ones and uh but yeah so yeah it's doable for anybody so right here we're adding one gallon per hour emitter into the hydrangea so it has a little bit of extra water because hydrangeas love water so we're just adding an extra emitter right to it uh, because i planted it this year so i want to make sure it's established pretty good and yeah that's it with this flower bed and now we're just gonna add a few emitters to my other hydrangeas and this and we're not using the black tubing on this one um because you know it really depends on you as a gardener which what you want to use uh carlos wanted to use the emitters on on this one so we went ahead and just used those because we kind of tend to use the black tubing and we don't want to waste anything that we bought so we were we went ahead and used all our emitters instead the ones that came separate and i had already prepared all of the uh lines for carlos so he was just pushing them into the district the bigger distribution pipe uh, that way we went a little bit faster since we already showed you guys how we prepare the ones with the um, with the separate emitters so yeah we're just doing it pretty quickly because it was getting darker and the mosquitoes were horrible that day And I just wanted to mention that me and Carlos are not professionals at irrigation. We just wanted to show everybody how we are doing our irrigation and how easy it is for a homeowner to do it by themselves. You don't have to pay thousands of dollars or, you know, to get it done professionally. It is super easy and simple and it's not something that's going to mess up your yard um you can always take it out if you want as well and like i said it's not super expensive either so right here i wanted to show you guys how beautiful my baskets are doing and they also have the uh little brown tubing and that's gonna make them look so much better now that i don't have to come in water too <laughs> they're gonna get more consistent water um and they're gonna love it they are doing super well even though i've been <laughs> kind of slacking on the watering sometimes and you know forget to do it like you know a week a whole week and then they are they get super sad but you know now they're gonna get more consistent water so that's good and and yeah i hope you guys like this video and see you till next time bye bye